Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today, we are here to take a look at the next set in the Halloween release. So, let's go ahead and get started. Today's books are completely inspired by the wonderful kits that were sent to me by Mrs. Cog. She sent me her Halloween kit and her witches kit and I was just in love with them and they were given definitely Halloween vibes. So that's or sorry, vintage Halloween vibes. And so that is the way that I wanted to portray these books. So as you can see, I have a soft cover one here and a hard cover, and I'm gonna just quickly run through these and they will both be available in my Etsy shop and you can check out the release time that will be in the description box below. So let's take a look at this one first. All right, this one's soft cover, eight and a half by five and a half. As you can see, it has a little witchy fabric on here. In the front, I just have this little pocket here with one of these images from TaylorMade journals. And it's a pocket, and this is just a little extra piece so you can do a little introduction to your book if you wanted to. This is just a journaling card, or this is just a little extra piece that you can tuck somewhere to turn it into a pocket. And of course, I've got lots of cool Halloween paper in here to um, also vibe with the kit. And so here's one of the pages from Mrs. Cog's kit. And I've got fabric flips. There's also some tailor-made journals and Tsunami Rose in here. It's this little cool pocket. Lots of writing space. For me, with Halloween journals, what I tend to, to think of for them is... Um, you know, memory keeping, because I feel like we do lots of like activities and fun things and Halloween. Look, she's even got some sunflowers in here just for fall vibes, little candy apple stamp. Uh, we do a lot of things and so you might wanna do some memory keeping on those things. So that is the reason why I like to make these books fully, not fully embellished, but you know, embellished enough, but enough space for you to write and add your own things, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> so a little tag here. So I, as you can see, I tried to stick with the theme of her kit pages and you can see they're all like vintage type of um, feels. These little tags come with her kit also. These are Tsunami Rose. I will link to the kit that I used below. Look at that. So cool. I love this paper too. Big little, big little <laughs> pocket page here right in the center that says Happy Halloween. And these are Tsunami Rose images here. I like that the pages also have like little quotes on them. That's really cute. Big journaling card. Some little tags from the paper. I did do little stamps here and there at the bottoms and tops of the pages. Jar tag. Uh, these words you can also find on Mrs. Cog's site. They are the Halloween words. Ah, these little Halloween words here are from Release the Crafton. As you can see, so many different uh, styles can all come together and make one cohesive book, which I love. Some more ephemera in here. Another fabric flip. There's my stamp. Couple more tags back here look how cute that is <laughs> and that is the end of this one so this one is going to be the soft cover uh, purple we'll say purple all right moving into this one this one is much much bigger as you can see I mean obviously this one is a single signature this one is three signatures and like I just finished saying on these books I do like to make sure that you have the space for memory keeping so you can see it looks fluffy but you definitely still have room for this book to grow and I gave the signatures nice space big space because I imagine these signatures to get really full 
with your own ephemera and, and other memory keeping stuff. Um, and so that's going to allow these signatures to fatten up a bit and fill the space of the signature signature spaces that I left here. So I did do some ledges on the spine. I have distressed this fabric all about to kind of grunge it up and make it a little bit more vintage. Here is the profile. As you can see, lots of textile goodness here. There are some charms, little pumpkins. There's candy corn in here somewhere. Um, so really, really cute. There's the candy corn. <laughs> and then here on the front, we have this little image and then a little spider web charm button and feathers. All right, so here we go. These little uh, ones here, I just washi taped them on because I have figured that maybe you want to have a different image for the first page. And then you can also just move this around and use it somewhere else. Once again, I still used uh, Tsunami Rose and Tailor Made Journals along with the pages that I got from Mrs. Cog. And of course, some scrapbook paper. There's some napkins in here that I've added. These little tags. More Halloween ephemera. Little tag in here. So as you can see, definitely space to write still, but also space to glue in your own bits of ephemera here and there. I think in this book, actually, I might have misspoken. So in the other book, I used Mrs. Cog's Halloween. I think I printed out the witches. Oh, yep. If the witches is right here next to me. That's going to be part of the next collection. Sorry. This was just her Halloween kit in the purple. This book, I've used mostly Tsunami Rose. Sorry. In, either way, I'll link it all down below. Look at this little stamp. <laughs> More ephemera. It's a vintage stationery there. Is this a sticker? <laughs> All right, almost done here. Lots and lots of pages, lots of room. I love these books. There's a pocket here. There's a little ghost in there. I don't know if you can see them and a, and a tag. This is the tuck spot. Some more vintage. This is true vintage. And then there's some ephemera in here. And oh, <laughs> I couldn't see it. There's my stamp. All right, so that is this one. So these are the two that are available in the second set. And like I said, I do believe I will have this one last set coming up. Um, and then I will have to move back on into the rest of the custom orders that I need to finish up. So it's been fun working on these and I hope that you guys like them. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to check the description box for when these will be available. They'll be in my Etsy shop until they're not. And that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.